Hi Aries, welcome to this space. Thank you so much for being here. Let's do a reading for the middle of July, see how things are going for you. And if you like this reading, please give it a like, share, subscribe. It helps to share this and I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, let's get a few oracle cards and some tarot. See how things are. You have a fork in the road. So it looks like there is a decision to be made. Which way do you want to go? Because it looks like you're going to need to choose a path or create your own path. Whoa. <laughs> yep. Here you go. This one's the fly out. This is saying it is time to go. And if you can see it, there's a little doorway there, and this is a very positive card, okay? She's excited about going through this door. So it looks like this is going to be a positive transformation. Ah, now here's chaos and conflict. So there could be some challenges with this, and it might be, probably is, got something to do with which path do you take okay now at the bottom of the deck you have milk and honey which is one of the very best cards in this deck it's saying that you're headed towards where you really want to be to your land of milk and honey so I love that that's a wonderful energy okay let's get some tarot see what we find out here Yeah, time to go. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is letting you know that you are getting ready to leave this chaos and conflict. You're getting ready to go to the calmer waters where you really want to be. Okay, so here's this path. Whichever path you pick is going to be the right path for you because you're heading towards your happiness. Okay, let's get another card. Beautiful. Everything's going to be balanced. Mm-hmm. So you're heading for your balance. And like this card, it's talking about you going from where you are to the calmer waters which is balance. All right. Whoa. Okay. This one wants other you have too. Look at this. Wow. Okay. Here you have a tower. And these, actually these three really wanted to jump out. You have a tower. And what this is saying is the change could happen quickly for you. And with all these cards out here, I would tend to think this is a positive tower. So it looks like you are experience, experiencing some chaos, some conflict. You know, which, is, which way should you take? Which is better? But everything is telling me that you're going to pick the way that is right for you. And you might very well do it quickly. I'm not saying the figuring out process, that it could be that as well, but definitely once you get it figured out, it looks like this is going to be a quick change. And you have the sun, which is the very best card in the deck, which is letting you know that this is leading you to your happiness, joy, playful, just wonderful energy, which is like right over here with your land of milk and honey. So this is going to be a very good time for you love it you just have to you know work through the doubts concerns which way's right you know that kind of thing which is very normal 
if you're trying to make a choice of which way you should go. And here at the bottom of the deck, you have the magician. And what that's saying is you are manifesting this. So you are bringing this into being. Okay, let's clarify this. And from the way it looks, it could be, you know, to do with anything. Career, just in general, relationship. Okay. By you picking the direction you want to take, it's going to lead you down to the calmer waters. In other words, where you really want to be. It's going to create a lot of happiness for you. So that's wonderful. Okay. Hmm. All right. Here you are making this decision. Okay. Having the choices, making the decision. Here it's saying it's time to go to bring in the balance. And what this is saying is it's a big decision. It's an important decision for you. And you have the Nine of Wands which is you protecting and defending it's like the wounded warrior so it, what i'm gathering from this is you've been working on this for a while thinking about it maybe feeling like you need to be protective of it but that's what's clarifying these two right and here you have a chaos and conflict so it does look like there's been some sort of a challenge when it comes to this okay but the outcome is still going to be beautiful. But yeah, so if there's something that you've been debating, working through, it looks like that might be part of what could be causing a tower where this chaos and conflict yeah, is coming in. Like I said, you know, you debating back and forth what you should do, right? But you have the sun here, very best card in the deck, so everything's going to turn out wonderfully. And here, you have justice. So, that's twice. Here you have justice, and here you have justice, which adds emphasis to this. So it's saying that you are manifesting the balance. You're going to be taking the path that is right for you. So this is, you know, really quite a um, nice reading. Mm -hmm. And it's totally normal to debate, you know, have some conflicts, some uncertainties as to what you should do. Perfectly normal. But you're going to come up with the right answer for you. Oh, I missed a card here. Nine of Pentacles. I wonder if that was meant to be here for you. It's saying, is you going for your goal? You know, slow and steady. If it is part of this reading, then this is letting you know to be accurate. Speed doesn't count, but to take your time. Make for sure that the choices you are making are the choices that are right for you. All right. Let's see what the universe would like to share, how they would like to advise you, the help, confirmation, whatever they feel you should know. Okay, here, this 
would be these two and maybe this one. Okay, so it does look like something has caused either a hurt heart or confusion, not seen clearly, or both. So to me, this puts a little bit of a different spin on this. It um, explains more. It looks like now the reason you're going through this change is because where you have been, it's not just chaos and conflict within you about, you know, which decision is right, but that there has been something that's been hurtful or very confusing. So the reason for this is to remove yourself from this energy. All right. And it also adds more meaning to this card for me. This is the Wounded Warrior, where you've been keeping on, keeping on. You know, protecting, defending. Something has been going on, and say so you've been probably doing this for a while. And now the reason for the change isn't just some vague or general thing. It is to definitely get out of an energy that you've been in that's been hurtful. Okay, or confusing too. It typically talks about hurt, but you can see all those clouds there. So for me, it can also mean um, not seeing clearly. Okay, let's see what else. beautiful you have the three of pentacles so this is saying success you're going from a hurt confused heart potentially confused anyway to success and this can also say it's possible that there can be another or others involved in this situation doesn't have to but it can oh gotta get that that flu The moon, okay. Use your intuition to help guide you in this. You know, you're trying to make this decision which way to go. Use your intuition. It's going to guide you correctly. It will not steer you astray. And it can also say that maybe there was something that at least at some point you weren't seeing. And maybe that is the catalyst for change. Maybe it started coming to light and you could see the problem, right? Which might have been where the, this um, comes into play, this hurt heart. And if that is the case, that would also explain some of the confusion. You know, when you don't understand or you don't see, but you know something's going on, it can be confusing. So, yeah, it might very well have been that you weren't seeing something, but I feel like definitely now you are. And catalyst for change. Beautiful. At the bottom of the deck from the universe, you have the Three of Wands, which is saying what you truly want is here for you. Your ships are coming in. Now, you're going to have to go out and get it, right? <laughs> Ships cannot just come on to land, but the changes you're wanting to create are here for you. And they are beautiful changes. Look at this. The land of milk and honey and the sun. Happiness, calm waters, balance. So there is a lot here for you, and it is time for you to go. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Let's close this out with the charm. See what we get. You have a heart. So you are trading in this hurt heart for a happy heart. And I guess this is the process of how you're going about it. So lovely reading. Thank you very much. And I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye.